people to MIPR. Yeah, given the utility of complexity, it does seem like they are willing to play a retake here with Poison spotting mid. Both teams going for some of the most default approaches you could. MIBR even implementing the early 1-1-3 to take space towards Cave. They have that space now. And Poison still trying to hold on to something towards middle. But it looks like MIBR might be ready for a B hit. They could just pop onto the site right now. Yeah, but it looks like Complexity are basically saying you can have the B-bomb site. As long as we can get a kill, we'll just play the retake, four versus five, and it'll probably be all right. Poison goes down in the middle. That's the P250 ringing true for bolts. Big start right there. 50 seconds still on the clock. And actually, before they even get to the bomb part, they're going to flash their way around the corner and keep pushing, but they don't check it. It's Blamer for the big headshot there to take down Branson. And now, well, the question is, can he get more? He was trying to jiggle peek that turtle with a double kill, and instead, the bomb goes down. So now it's a two on four. That looked like, I mean, if he'd got that follow up kill, Blamer, maybe it would have been fine, but now they're in trouble. That's a nice headshot. Cold Sierra fighting his countrymen out here at the B-bomb site. And he's just slowly walking around the corner. Not in a hurry just yet, even if they don't have a kit currently picked up. He's looking for it, and they're inside of the smoke in the hallways. I don't know if it's going to be easy to find anyone in here. Another headshot for Cold. He's finally going to be going down, leaving JKS on the duelies, and it will not be. It was kind of there, but um, MIBR just traded better in the beginning, I guess. It was kind of a one-step-ahead approach from MIBR to understand that if they just let Complexity play the whole retake out the way they want to, that's going to, going to let the round be determined by what Complexity uh, wants to do on their terms. And making it uh, a matter that they are in control of is, is always going to favor you. I mean, it's always going to just help out in terms of just keeping Complexity on their toes. Yeah, t being, being the team that takes the initiative, is generally a, a really strong position to be, and I agree. Nice nade landing him on the B-bomb site. They're not going to be happy about that. They did buy up in this round with armor and eagles and three HE grenades still. That could be really fun for that B-bomb site if they just fall back and, and find the right timing, nuking the bomb planter. That's, that's absolutely a possibility. In fact, I would not... I, I would believe that that's what they're going for, given that it's both players in this side lane. Oh, he's going to destroy a little bit early, but it actually will be a... Oh, no. It goes a little bit shallow. I thought that would have hit them. Yeah, if the first one attacked them at a similar rate, that would have put them a fair bit lower. So far, so good for MIPR, on the other hand. I mean, they still have everyone out here. There is a bit of a stack going on, especially looking over the smoke. 30 seconds on the clock, and we'll see if they can bring it through here, MIBR. Good start for Woody. Good follow-up on JKS, but again, they're kind of stacked up. They can't really escape. JKS trying his best, and that is really good, apparently. A third kill in the round. Not at all bad. Cold on his own, though. He'll be sneaking in slowly with the Deagle. They should be able to try and fall back from this position just a bit so that they're not... Just going to be facing him head on. There's the one kill. Turtle on the other side, and he's low on health already. This is actually horrifying. I thought that in the time before he got there, they could have fallen down the ramp, trying to just hide from him a little bit more. But he's actually relocated himself. Gold almost doing it. Maybe one shot away from it. Oh, getting that one in complexity's favor. But either way, MIBR with the start that they needed, and Turtle with four kills. And they've been impactful ones at that. Now just the regular pistol. Some of them upgraded, but should be more of a walk in the park here for the Priscillian side, you have to assume. Well, it's all against poison. <laughs> right, well, the rest of them are going to come joining in. That's a cool idea. I mean, if you can get everyone towards the middle, have one good flash of... Ooh. He got that second. I don't even think he realized exit that that was going to be a, a double kill. That was just a burst. Yeah, yeah, just a burst and almost the ace. Four kills in the round for him. That's still pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Good way to dispatch of that mid-play. Love that from Complexity, that they're trying to run something a little gimmicky to find some frags towards mid, but MIBR, they're constantly implementing this really standard default, and they are not putting all their eggs in one basket. So, this will be 3-0. We'll see what Complexity have in store for us here. They do have money on Poison, so that yeah. we should get that first round up. And that should change how that mid plays out quite a bit. If nothing else, it should change the amount of utility that MIBR will have to commit to getting rid of him if they really want to. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if MIBR are going to begin to favor A a little bit more because all three rounds so far have been directed at B. How to do that? I've heard people just say Zan. Zan? I've heard, I have heard that, but I don't know if that's... 
I'm, I'm going with the full thing. I'm down for that. I think that's good. I'm down for sand. That's that's gonna make my life a lot easier until someone tells me otherwise. We're we're just we're gonna dub him that. Three and O in favor of MIBR. And another pretty common setup right here. There's nothing that's really catching us off guard when it comes to what complexity are doing, and not really for MIBR either. Dangerous play and Turtle, if, if actually if, if Blamef hadn't taken that shot, it's entirely possible Turtle would have been favored in that fight, but he guessed it. That's a great return, though. DNA is. is going to take, take down Blame F, and now Woody has a decision to make. The majority of his troops are towards B, but the op lies in wait. If they don't have great utility to force poison off, this might be MIBR's future grave. Still plenty of time. If they wanted to do something on the A bomb side, they could. And I actually, I just meant they could make some noise and go back to B, but they're actually going to switch everything over to this side. JKS anchoring that bomb side right now has got an org in hand, which I have to assume, yeah, that's a powerful weapon for this particular bomb site. So many good right angles for it. This might be one of them. Yep. Yeah, they actually peek right on top. He just holds down mouse one for a big triple, and that leaves exit on his own. That worked way better. I'm not even sure if they knew who was firing at them. Every new person coming into the angle just thought, All right, I'm gonna try and trade it, but then every time they look, it's like, but where? Where am I actually getting shot from? I guess you need a very, very specific call-out for that position if you're on the MIBR side for someone to know where to look. But if they just say he's he's in the tunnels and the ruins behind the bomb, it's like, what is that actually? It was not a bad call in terms of reading the, the macro movements of complexity. So that's a, that's a welcome sight to see Woody make that kind of call. Just next time, a little more utility and slightly better trading, and, and it, it, that was possible. We've got a couple of AKs in play here. Some early spam coming out, but they're really far back on the map on, on the MIBR side. We've seen some CT sides will throw a smoke that lands in this doorway and actually try to push up and pin to that part of the map from both B and the and the Jaguar tunnels. Cheetah, I don't know. Have we ever agreed on what that animal is? I, I think it's got to be a Jaguar. It's got We're to be, We're in South right? America. Yeah. Um, poison, though. He's looking for something at the ramp. Does he know Turtle got a cross? I don't think he does, but no. Turtle only has a Glock, so not a huge threat regardless. Advanced positioning, misses another shot, and now Poison is going to rack up a couple, but... Ooh, Biere is getting a couple round, a couple shots in at the site. He's looking for more. Oh, wow, he's just opened everything up. Complexity are now in a very bad position. Yeah, they probably even need to just, I mean, back off and save this. I don't think you can realistically go for a two-on-four retake on this bomb site. You'd have to catch off someone immediately for an immediate kill. That probably needed to be one of them. Oh, and the grenade on the other side. It is not enough for a kill anyway. Yeah, I would probably just pack up and leave. Even if it's painful, I don't think it's worth it. Flame F hiding here. I don't think there's much that he could do. Again, that rifle is valuable, but great start for MIBR. This is what they need, though. Especially on the T side of this map. This is already looking like a, a solid T half. If you if they can convert this one too, true, it wouldn't be too bad. Turtle takes down poison. It's it's an eco for complexity. They've upgraded a, a few pistols, but MIBR looks so confident when they're approaching this B site. Turtle, as he's not even second guessing the smoke. Okay, finally pushed on back. Doesn't want to throw away the man advantage wisely. Great grenade in response, but. This is still looking like an excellent position to be in if you are on the Brazilian side. Yeah, and it's it's just really one person that's been tagged up, so probably fine for MIBR to lose a little bit of health on him. Slowly creeping through and checking. And they might as well. They have about a minute left, so no reason not to check the middle and make sure there's no nothing funky going on here. Some jumping going on back there. Woody, curious to see his opening, but so far he's been true to his word when it comes to the, the more forceful style bringing into it. That seems to be what, the, even if some of it is a bit slow at the beginning, but I think the map is forcing him into doing that. But once they pull the trigger and go for a bomb site, it is really explosive. They just commit. Yeah. And that'll happen here on B. Oh, shot in the back of the head, but 
Okay, S attack actually finds one, but they're still in complete control of this MIBR. Bomb will be planted, and this should be a pretty clean cleanup. There's not too much to do on the side of complexity here, other than maybe steal a gun away, but exit with this flank will take down the final members of... I'm gonna do anything to you. They just eat jellyfish. Unlike this turtle in our game, who is... Oh, it's the most violent turtle I've ever seen. He's very... He's into it. It's good. They're setting up outside of the A bomb site for the first time in a, in a more forceful way. They've got three people here. They're making the same noise outside of B that they normally would, but it doesn't catch poison off guard. Instead of JKS, it's him anchoring, and he is so good with the flicks. Big double for him, and he actually probably does need to continue. I'd say I'm glad to see him call it off in that moment rather than going for a fourth engagement there. Just, just leave it alone. That was a nice attempt at a tempo shift from MIBR, but it does get caught by Poison. And Poison, he's been playing a lot closer to the B site, mostly, so not even a, a bad call if you use what you've seen before on the side of Woody. But now he's going to be trying to bring things back. Three on five. He's already making headway towards ramp now. I don't think he'll be able to see anybody. JKS may offer him this. But it's just an arm. What a great jiggle by JKS. But Woody still takes him down. That does activate Blame. And now the last two members remaining in cave. Yeah. Blame if walking into it. I don't think that's really necessary at all. Turtle's going to be going down. Exit with the kill. That's going to give him the bomb plant. That's way more than MIVR could have hoped for in this round, I think. So, so far, so good. He's very low on health, and I think... I don't know. He'd have to headshot Cold Zero almost immediately. Then the one versus one is definitely doable. But he's also being shot in, in the back in a couple of seconds here. Oh, misses the opportunity. That gives away the information. Still should be the round for complexity, but exit. That is a little bit lucky that he's still alive even. And now the time is ticking down. There is no kit picked up at the moment. Oh, and he goes for it. He could have maybe had that. It will be a 10 second defuse here, but that that is a scary moment. That was incredibly worrying. If he gets the headshot on cold, that's... He, he almost just wins it right there. Uh, it could also just be the fact that maybe the other players wanted to throw nades in other directions for some misdirection there. But, yeah, it, it does feel like it would be essential if you're really committing. But Turtle, early on towards the ramp, takes down Essatag. He has been explosive coming up that ramp. That has been a... Uh, a real point of emphasis that MIBR are showing that we, we just control this with, with gun work. Yeah, that's, I mean, it, it's really basic. And some of the nades from Complexity are not that early on. They're not laying deep Molotovs with HEs on top or anything like that. So maybe that could be another reason why it's working out so well. Good uh, kill at the beginning here. Four on five in their favor. Poison is walking down the ramp with a teammate. They've got a little tag team going on. Woody, though, Orper himself sitting on the other side. It doesn't matter. Nice kill for Poison. And I was going to say, usually you back off from behind that. That's risky to keep going. But almost looked like he was fighting himself to stay. He, he kind of wanted to. Poison is a man that likes to stay around. Yeah. He's a sticky opper. If he gets one kill, sometimes he'll just hang out in that position, force you to use utility to get him out. This time around, you know, he was reeling himself back in. But it doesn't look like he'll be challenged further. Exit has gotten great position at top mid. If this ends up being an A split, Exit can cut off all of the rotations, and then it's just JKS on site by himself. And he's in the middle of the hallway as they're walking through. This is very dangerous. He's going to get one of those kills. They do line up, and it's another triple to defend the A bomb side for JKS. Forget about cutting off any rotations. It would have worked so well. I actually think they caught him in one of them. He's probably never coming out again. Like, it's going to be... He actually stops and sort of like, I'm going to... I'm actually going to reinitiate on them. And that's... I mean, it's easier to see in slow motion, but I feel like in the middle of a fight, that almost has to be instinct, right? Like, I don't want to get back into the wall because then I can only go one way and they can almost just crouch in and pre-fire me and it's, it's going to be ugly. It was, it was just excellent micro play from him. Yeah. Just so so much control in that situation. MIBR don't want a slow round this time, though. Immediate. <laughs> immediate be exact. Yeah, with the MAC-10 leading the charge, almost trying to run down an M4, and it's going to be doable. Aztag hiding in the corner, hoping that the teammates were going to show up. This is really explosive. We've been complaining about it a lot, the fact that you can't really play fast on this particular map, but MIBR at least coming up with a couple of really good showcases for that being, in fact, possible. Three versus five now. Bomb is already down, and I don't know about this for complexity. They don't have the money to go. I'm not sure why they're posing like they're going to try and do this. I feel like it's such a risk. 
The Galil will find a kill then, and Cold will get the one blame if on the other one, but they're still far away from actually retaking the bomb site. Yeah, th there shouldn't be the time now. There, there's it's ticked down so much. Blame F is is dead, and now Cold, the only person to survive, does take the off way. That is a very confusing posturing that we're seeing out of complexity. The fact that you're not safe, even if we're all the way back there, they'll push it before they even put the bomb down. Same way that people do on the A bomb side of Mirage, sometimes pushing CT spawn, you know, just to get the control. It feels like. Complexity are used to playing a, a style of defense on this B bomb site where, as long as they're not on the bomb site, they're probably not going to get pushed and attacked. And MIBR catching them a little bit in some of these scenarios, which is really interesting. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is one of the first times they defaulted two players towards A, and it's it's when Complexity wanted to throw the off there. Now it's just pistols for Cole. This attack might be able to grab something, but. Yeah, MIBR are doing a great job on this T side. This is a this is a big surprise. They've already gotten seven rounds after this one ends. I guess the bomb is pretty far away, but there's no way S attack should have any idea that that is what's happening. No, as long as they can try and set up a, a trade or two here. I mean, like just try and make sure he's not going to get a bunch of one versus one fights. Like seeing them together already. They know that he's picked up the AK out here somewhere, but. I don't know if that gives them anything to work with now that it's 20 seconds later. It could be kind of hard to tell. Yeah, they've locked him in. Every yeah. player uh, other than the bomb carrier is watching one or one of the angles that he could be escaping from. So they will just avoid him. We saw that complexity in this round. They wanted to get the op involved early by taking space towards A. It's just rather uh, inconvenient that they had a, two players there on the MIBR side. Almost every other round, that would have been fine, actually. Yeah, just <laughs> roll the dice in that moment. I like the idea of pushing aggressively on the CT side of this map because I feel like if you just if you just take a screenshot of the minimap, I don't know, 20 seconds into every round here, it's quite likely that there's not going to be that much action outside of the A bomb site. Many of the people that are there will be looking middle, and the rest of them will be working the beep. So if theoretically, if you wanted to risk it, you could maybe get away with a couple of aggressive pushes out there somewhere on the CT side. That is. But this just wasn't the round, so unfortunate. In terms of kills, it's uh, Cold and JKS that are doing a lot of the work right now on the complexity. They either fight for mid or the, the ramp itself, so we'll see what they go for. And they are sacking A in the process. We see that there's no one really playing A for complexity, so the point of emphasis has to be towards B and mid. Just a sea of fire outside of that B bomb site with even blame if checking around. They must feel like no one's really here. Actually, ooh, this could be so dangerous. If Complexity read this as there not being much aggression outside of B, I wonder if they're about to get exploded on. One good flashbang here could ruin S attack's day. And then the question is, could the rest of them actually do anything? I wonder if they're going to be overreacting to it. a little bit of a spree there. And MIBR, well, at least now they know that there are more people outside of B than maybe they thought five seconds ago. Attack is right there. Oh, Woody. Is he going to catch JKS? The jiggle will come out. We hit the shot. No, just nades over. Safe from JKS. Still holding it, but the exec is here. A little bit of a pre fire, in fact, but S attack still picking it up. Going to be traded right away. Blame it for the kill, and he's, yep, looking at his teammate, wondering when can he get him into play so he gets some sort of a crossfire setup. MIBR know that he's back there. They know where JKS is. He's still going to go down. Exit. That was a shot through the smoke to bring down JKS. I'm going to need to see a replay of that. 30 seconds and a bomb being planted. Woody with the kill to drop poison. And that leaves Cold Zero. One versus two. Definitely a good player to have in the clutch. And he spotted one of them, hoping, praying that he's going to walk back into that crosshair. But he's not doing it right now. Second player, not been found yet. I wonder if he's been seen already. He's going to be now. And yet, Complexity were complacent. They, they wanted to sit on the bomb site. The counter utility was good. The crossfires were good. But that shot from Exit was better. It was so odd to look at because S Attack had two people behind him, and it still felt like he was so lonely. They're doing it again. Oh, man. Turtle's a menace. He really is. This is a, a snapping turtle in a swamp right now. You don't even want to test this guy. Those are horrifying. They are scary. How it, come their necks could be longer when they're... I, how does that work? It, it is... Uh, you just don't want to stick a finger somewhere you shouldn't yeah. when you're around those, those guys. Yeah. An exit at 16 and 5. So he's also out of control. 
All right. So, in terms of being the underdog, getting this map, you said they look better than maybe you would think on Nuke MIBR. Even if it might be still a tough game, they still feel like they could do something on that map. It's not a default loss for them or anything. So, this is the start that they were wanting. Eight rounds on the T side of Ancient, I would say, is yeah, very impressive. It's still good. After yeah. the after the bomb site shift to the rework a little bit, uh, the game became a little bit more T sided. I mean, it's still, uh, but it is still a very CT sided map. Yeah, it, it's still statistically the most CT sided map in the pool. So this is uh, this is looking great for MIBR. They've got to feel great about this one. They've already taken some scalps in some of the the lower tier European cups that since they've arrived. If they can take this one, then they're going to start thinking anything's possible for them on their Euro trip. Yeah. <laughs> Classic movie. <laughs> yeah. Stupid movie. In many ways. Poison going down. They're just cleaning up some of these pistols. And it doesn't usually play out that way in the real world is the problem, right? <laughs> so, tough times. 13th round is coming up. They have some money back. They've got that all back on Poison. I mean, he's been hitting some really good shots, but he hasn't had it as much as he would have wanted. And the forward setup over at the B hall or A hallways is working really well. Cold, if he could stand tall here, they're going to be walking through. You mentioned that as we went into the game. Some of that walking through smoke and just being very aggressive. They did trade him, so four on three. I don't know if that if that's going to be enough here for MIBR. They still have a lot of utility, and they're priming themselves for what looks like a B hit once again. Woody, though, will be the contact player with the op. No one to give up anything, though, unless as a tag moves on forward. But I think he's made up his mind with this round. He wants to play the retake. He's going to let them have the B site, slot himself into V2 here. And if he can get one and peel off, that would be an excellent job for him. Yeah, play it safe. He's got picked up a number of times. He's had a bit of a rough game so far. So, yeah, if he could stay alive back here and, and just not get himself killed early on, that's going to be really attractive. 45 seconds on the clock and setting up some nades to try and clear a bit of space on the bomb site. Flashes around the corner, 35 seconds now, and it's going to be the FAMAS of Blame F to take down Turtle. Important kill to get right there. And that should that should summon the round win, if nothing else here, for complexity. Four versus two, they're kind of locked inside of the bomb site. JKS is running up behind them any second. And that is a nice little drive by Peak. Bolts on his own. One versus three. And he doesn't have any needs or anything else. S tag will take him down. So that worked out, I think, kind of the way that Complexity have wanted these retakes to work out. But this is finally it. Yeah. Yeah. This is finally a, a good one. But it, it came off the back of the fact that they had a man advantage due to the aggressive A play from Exit, that mid push from the T's as well. So this is uh, this is things going accordingly for Complexity. I'm a little bit perturbed by the fact that Complexity didn't actually shift their defense. It's just that MIBR shifted their offense so much that it it worked for Complexity though. And yes. It, if MIBR just kind of go with you know tried and true B hits, this is this doesn't look like Complexity have made a, a huge adjustment to their D. That's a good point. Um... I wonder if they realize that or if they just think, okay, it finally worked, that's all good, right? Because if they get lured into the sense that the defense is working, when in fact it's just MIB, <laughs> I don't know what you do about that. <laughs> that's the second time he's done that. Just taking him down. Poison, again, super, super uh, ready to fight this. Just trusting in his own AWP. That's wow. a very exposed position, but the follow-up is there. Sand taking down a couple of kills. Cold will get one of them in return, but the headshots are just... They're so incredibly crisp coming up from the resilient side. No time at all. They're going to get another one, and now it's JKS on his own. What do you do in this position? I mean, it is the the 14th round, so I guess you, you have to try something. See if you can bring it back. One versus two, maybe. AI prediction not favoring him at all, and he's going to back it out. Wow. That's it. That's it. MIBR just go up the B ramp once again. This has been their wheelhouse. That B ramp, they've just dominated it. Honestly, there's not much even to say. There, there's, they just keep moving up it. If the first guy doesn't get the kill, the next guy gets two. It, it, <laughs> it, it is a bad, bad fight for complexity. They have not figured that out whatsoever. MIBR both exit. Wonderful about Brazilian Counter-Strike. 10 to 4 in their favor. 
And they're kind of setting up outside again. This time they do get naded down low, but they still manage to get the opening kill. Cold. Might have a timing here. Pierre is slipped into cave though. He's given up his position. Cold is right behind him, and he takes down bolts. Now Pierre is trapped, but he still is able to find Cold a whip around. And now it's a three on three. This is a manageable situation for MVR. There's a high pressure pressure position to be in if you're um, your um, sand right there. It's gonna be tough. He's trying to get that spray through. Woody goes down to poison though. Again, I feel like poison say WP has been. It's kind of weird to me that it hasn't had more of an impact. I guess they've they've avoided it a lot. Because whenever they run into him, he seems to always get that one flick kill. Maybe even a follow-up. A bit of a spray. Not really much connecting there. And he's very low on health. Trying to do the best that he can. Create some space for exit. Again, is the top fragger in the server right now. Bit of a crossfire there. And he takes some time. Oh! They turn it. Two versus two in the bomb site, And they come up without losing a single player. And remember, he was on three health at the beginning here, San. Oh, and they catch him throwing the nade. Poison! That is not the right timing. He's very low, and he knows it as well. Molotov, surely not going to catch anyone either. This is a nightmare, and he's about to get shot in the side of the face as well. On top of everything else, he's now trapped in between the two of them. And that bomb can't even smoke it off anymore. He this is have a kit. Oh, yes. Yeah, just he's nothing you can do. It's round number 15, so he's going to go for it no matter what. But running into the cross is not good news at all, is it, Maui? No, no, it is not. But it is great for a team like MIBR. True. It does not look like MIBR have any intentions on slowing down in this one. As Bolt takes an early fight, really commits to that one against Poison. Now, Biere gets caught off guard. He tries to find a fight of his own, but it doesn't go his way. Now, finally, Complexity have a man advantage, and they definitely need to convert this pistol. I really like the fact that he was trying to sneak through into the middle there, but he got caught in the middle of it, so it didn't really work out. Looks like they're just fighting everywhere. Still is a two on three. Exit and Woody, and Exit, he had, what, 20 kills in the first half and only six deaths, so see if he could do more. He's going to get shot down from cold and descent just a bit here, our, com our complexity. A chance to maybe bring it back. If they can win this one and the next one, kind of start to build a little bit more. Not completely out of the out of the question that they could start to bring this game back, but MIBR, let's just see. I mean, they've already shown us that, I think just on the aim front alone, you just have to respect every round that's coming coming your way. They're going to be very, very sharp at hitting those uh, shots, so 17th round here. Immediate smoke up on top, so they're slowed down. They have plenty of time, though, and gravitating towards the B bomb site is most of the defense anyway. This is, this is a great stack from MIBR. They are really in position for it. And Complexity haven't taken any map control towards middle, towards A main. They probably feel like their options are very limited. And MIBR seem to know that. They are in some great crossfires. If, if there's poor utility usage from Complexity or poor spacing, this is going to be lights out for them. And that's the first one. Turtle takes him down. Now, BR is going to find Cold Zero. The bomb is down in cave, but Esetag, he's on a retrieval mission. Takes down BR. Now it's all on Woody in the site, completely blind, but they overlook his position. Esetag finally spins around to get him. And now Exit, he is locked out of the site. If he hadn't been just slightly flashed then, probably would have had that one kill. It's a very good job from Esetag that he's managed to, to just spot him out, and they, they bring him down eventually. So scary of around them, I and that could have a lot of them involve fast A hits, and that's kind of when we talk about conditioning in Counter Strike. That's kind of what it is. When when you just throw out a couple fast A plays, even if they're not good, they just force the defense to respect the fact that you could do that at any given. All all went down in the same boat. So seven to eleven is the score line, and. Not super aggressive, but mostly outside of that uh, A bomb site. And MIBR, I don't know if they, they can't really know that just yet, I think. There was one step they heard, Ooh. at least. So it actually forced Exit to throw a Molotov, burning a lot of utility pretty early. The complexity are making their way towards mid. There's a bit of a setup here from MIBR. We see BRA is right there in cave. So it won't be contested yet. Falling one side means that B area is by his lonesome. 
still able to handle himself very well. And it, it, again, instead of hiding in the corner, he, he becomes the one to take the initiative by slowly sort of edging his way into that angle. Bolts looked like there was a second delay, but he still gets the kill. This is such a wow. good start with the follow-up HE grenade blowing up poison. Wow. That's a huge beginning here for MIBR, isn't it? A dominant gun round. Flame F will try to find something, but this is just excellent positioning from MIBR and individuals performing very well, even when they aren't in the most advantaged situation. D area, wow. And puts a big dent in the economy of complexity. Woody with the AWP. Not that we've seen that much out of him, but it'll be fun to see. He's just in the middle, wow. Not a position that we see very often playing on the CT side. Looks like he's ready to peek into the lane, but he backs on up. Doesn't find anything just yet. And Complexity, they feel like they're completely locked out of middle, so they're likely going to look for something on the extremities, unless they have some, some great mid-retake procedures. They're posturing as if they do want to retake this space, and to, much to their surprise, there, there's no one here. MIBR have evacuated. Yeah. It looked like they wanted to have that position in the event that Complexity were pushing aggressively out of the B-hallways into the middle, which, I mean, that does happen a lot, so it's not such a crazy idea. But when they don't find anyone, they just give up on it. It's Bolts with the smoke. They've been doing that a lot. When they're on the T side, those kills happening over there. So I'm assuming that Complexity are getting really bored of that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has to be frustrating. Uh, and Bolts, I mean, he's... Throughout all the years, he's taken that game sense and uh, somehow transferred it to Ancient. He's finding a lot with pretty questionable information. Blame F is really trying to take some space here. I don't know if he's going to clear Bolts' angle, but oh, what a, what a flick from Blame. And now the A split is on. Exit is by himself. Can he juggle these positions? There's just, they're, they're everywhere. If he stayed in that position, I'm not sure that would have been better for him necessarily. So MIBR, that was a very, that's a very creative round for complexity. I would say it's, it's really hard to push in the middle like that. And actually, because you just as well could have been that blame if would have got shot in the back somewhere along the way there. But well played. They back on out, they save the guns, which that's something that complexity didn't, didn't do in some of those early rounds, remember? They actually went for the three or even the two on four retake in, in that B bomb site. I'm happy to see MIBR give up on this. This is a really wild. Yeah, that was that was a great timing from from Blame, I, I suppose. And uh, yeah, this is a this was a round that will be a little bit difficult to to replicate in terms of the space that they were able to take. Local earthquake happened. Um, that's something that's it's a part of the game that's very hard to get into. What are they doing? Oh, what is happening? Got a full gamble play towards B from MIBR. Complexity, though, they're taking their time at A. This allows MIBR to get back into position towards the A site. It really felt like Complexity wanted to go for the full commit towards A early on, but they're just holding their ground. And MIBR have now taken full control of lane here. This is just great space. This is something we never saw Complexity having. Yeah, I mean, they, they couldn't, right? They just kept getting shot down over on the side, but right now it is working out very well. 20th round, very tight game at the moment. Four round gap between the two of them. Turtle to win the opening fight, taking down Cold Zero, but they're pushed really far back. I wonder if they could get a quick bomb plant here. JKS, nice fight to bring down Exit. That's a good start, and there's the immediate bomb plant. They're going quick for it. VR is gonna be going down, blame it for the kill on him. And now again, four on three, and they're already walking away. They don't want anything to do with it. Just to follow up on what you were saying earlier, in terms of of Blamef maybe getting that read from a little bit of information. If we, I mean, the analogy that people tend to use is the poker analogy, right? The, the, the sort of the idea of a tell to to show what the enemy is actually doing. That's one of the reasons why I think it's so exciting when someone like Blamef is leading the charge because he's get he's getting that information with really no input delay. He just, he sees it. He's like, oh, I remember this pattern. I know what they're doing. Let's just go for it. Because it's, it's a, it's a, potentially it could be some down. Hamp is, is probably leading the charge right now True. in terms of how well he can read the game, even though he plays so fast and aggressively. Speaking of fast and aggressive, they're in the middle as well. Flash through flame if that easily could have been a transferred kill, but kind of hard. He was crouching and walking forwards while continuing into the 20 bullets there of the AK oh. turtle with a big double to try and bring it back. And actually he did. Two versus three now. 
Bomb has been picked up on Poison. JKS out here. Wow, that was a, just an explosive start. I actually thought Blamef would get both those kills in the middle. It looked like it. So close. We still have BRA on the site. The smokes are out, but Complexity are rerouting. MIBR have moved every player over to B. Although Complexity, with how long they're taking, MIBR should know something's amiss. Yeah, it's, it is a bit of a giveaway, isn't it, when you don't sense anything at all for such a long time? Is it me, or does Woody look slightly like a Resilian Valder? Is there a semblance there? Uh, I could I could kind of see it. He's got a pretty narrow kind of jawline. It kind of triangulates. There's something there, right? I'm not just making it up. Yeah. A little bit, right? A little bit. His head's kind of tilted a little higher up than Valde's, though. If he tilted it down, it might be a Brazilian Valde. All right. They could do swap in for each other and certain the language might give it away but <laughs> the accent yeah otherwise otherwise it'll be fine 20 seconds on the clock and yep like you said MIB arm <laughs> not feeling anything outside of B starting to get a little bit suspicious around that fact smoke up on one side Molotov as well trying to find the very edge of the bomb site so as to not get shot from the sides I mean, it's a pretty good job so far to even get the bomb down. That could have been uh, already shut down easily. JKS looking for it and getting the headshot and the follow-up to take down Bolts. That's massive complexity. What a magical round that they're bringing in here. Woody now on his own looking for anything that he can get. He's going to get oh. one of the Molotov to bring down JKS. That is a rare way to win a one versus two. Oh, no. Oh, man. Something fire retardant would have been exactly. appreciated. Yeah. He needed that. Yeah. That is really rough. Because, uh, again, they, they... I mean, yes, those two kills probably should not even have happened, but they did. And that looked like it was going to be a, a round-winning move right there. Double nade over the top. In case someone was standing there, which, again, with the Molotov is not unlikely. But they didn't catch anyone. Now, Blame F doing his best impression of exactly what MIBR were doing in the first half, walking on. He's so deep in here, and they've just given up the entire site. This should be an almost automatic loss in the bomb site. There's no way anyone is going to spin around to check for this. Walking in, finding the kill. They know the second kill as well. Yeah, like you said, flow state. He just locked in. He was locked in. He knew exactly what was happening. He walked right behind them. Even after getting the first kill, he immediately swung his crosshair to the left. Knew the setup that MIBR were running. That is the blame F you want to see if you're a Complexity fan. That was just excellent work from him. One tap. <laughs> he knew. He knew where Turtle was. Man. Now, if it's just a one round, I, they shouldn't be too tilted, but... The problem with dying like that is not just that you lose the round, but it's that you feel so red. You're like, oh yes. no, they walked into the bomb site with, you know, they didn't even do anything. They just walked in and won the round. Tough time. That's going to be 10 to 13. Complexity quickly catching up in this game. I feel like Complexity are proving as well that if they get the map control, they can win the rounds just as much. They're really getting aggressive for that mid control. A couple of volleys are expended. But Complexity have the lane. One of the most pivotal parts of the map. Cold is just pushing through the smoke. No way. That is... Oh, that is so bold. And Bierre is the victim. And now Complexity, they just want to explode onto this site. It's just one player, Turtle. He finds Essatag. But the bomb, it's dropped onto the site right now. And Complexity are figuring out that there's no one here. What a great follow-up. One-two punch to get that kill follow it, But um, still... They get another kill through the smoke, and it's on Blame F this time. Three on three. Bomb is being planted. Interesting position. I don't know if the spam had come through. Maybe it would have been dangerous, but it's also a bit uncommon. So, JKS. Yeah, caught spinning the wrong way. That is just very unfortunate. Bolts will take him down. Cold and poison. Two on three to try and hold on to this. And they're actually, actually in some interesting positions here. Quite far away from where the bomb is. A good smoke right now would force them to run back into the bomb site. But no smoke has been thrown. It's exit with a kill. Tapping the bomb a single time. Cold walking in and exit. He is not going to miss that shot. He is so on point. 20 seconds. He is so on point. But he's got some backup. Everyone except for Woody right now is, is playing well. And usually we like to give some excuses for, for the in-game leaders in terms of the amount of resources they have to put into to sort of dictating the battle a little bit. But when everyone else is playing that well, maybe it's going to be fine. 14 to 10. They have money 
on complexity side. So if they lose this round, they're not completely done at the very least. And that, that is a good read. Yeah, the fern angle. <laughs> the fern. It's it's the spot for the B, the lone B defaulter. You're always going to see that a lot. Once you start watching their POVs, everybody loves that one. It's one of the few spots in Counter Strike where you actually have a, a graphical advantage kind of thing, where you yeah. have a, where you actually have cover like a Call of Duty game. That is true. If you could only go prone, you could really yeah could really abuse it exactly. And that's one of those things, like you said, it's it's the lone B player, so they might know MIBR that he's alone out there, but it doesn't. I mean, because it's so early on, doesn't give them a lot to work with either. Right. There's no there's no great adaptation to make in the mid round because of that. The clock is ticking down, though, and MIBR, because they're holding on to Donut, should know that this is unlikely an A play, but Woody still is the lone defender on B. Oh, it's going to be all for Zorb, isn't it? Maybe a jump for it. Oh, he just peeks right into it, and he's quick to pull the trigger. Cold Zero will be there to catch him, though. That's a still a pretty good setup, and they're not even going to get close. They've given up on the round already, so an 11th one for complexity. Not bad at all. That's a I mean, not like they even did a lot to play themselves in. This this is the one kill, and then the the other one on Woody as he tries to escape. That's what gives them the round here. But yeah. it's very efficient. Yeah, and Woody he try he tries to leave, but without anybody covering the ramp, that's that's always going to be a, a difficult escape if complexity is in a good pinching position. And so complexity find their eleventh. This is a big round for both teams, like you mentioned. The economy was in a pretty dire place for MIBR, so also very important that they save these these guns themselves. Yeah. Yeah, Woody, Woody has, a, as an individual, not had... Back on the AWP. They were able to afford that in spite of everything. Blame F. Not looking to really go for it. Thought he was going to turn the corner there. And again, they're pouring nades from the, the bomb site out into the lane. Not really catching anything for it. So that's a, that's almost all of their nades dumped in the first 20 seconds of the round. Yeah, no, no real space taken from complexity just yet. They're really waiting for MIBR to burn their utility, and they they've done a good job as they've taken zero damage in the first 30 seconds of this round, and yet we already see that the utility is quite thin for MIBR. Just waiting for it. They're, they're, I mean, they might be expecting complexity that MIBR will try to overreact and try to do a bit more than they normally have been, because it feels like they're really giving them the space to do it. So far, they haven't taken it. Although Woody, he is alone in here. Remember, no one else is with him. Miss shot right now could get him killed almost immediately. But then again, if he takes down Blame, if that's going to be a, a big giveaway to what's happening next, and they might be able to read it. 40 seconds on the clock. Standoff is still there. In-game leader versus in-game leader in the middle. 33 seconds. And they're just waiting to pop that flashbang. Counter nades. That's a nice smoke actually going up on the ramp. That's huge for the defense. Turtle going to get the kill. The bomb falls into the bomb site. That's a disaster. Woody going to get caught, but is it really a difference maker right now? 19 seconds on the clock, and the bomb is still committed to the site. And they know MIBR. They're bringing everyone over here. Down to 13 seconds. Cold will get a kill on one of them. He swings for it, but Turtle is there. Another good headshot. Seven seconds left. JKS with the double and just makes it behind the pillar. He's going to get one of them. The bomb is going to be planted in the last two seconds. Exit with the spray. Oh, and he takes down JKS. What a sequence and what a victory. 15 rounds for MIBR. That should have never happened. Exit comes up huge on the retake right there. In fact, the bomb's not even planted, and he's rushing on towards it. And it really felt like complexity somehow put it all together in the last 15 seconds of that. That was incredibly explosive. Like you said, he just needs to be the one starting the fight, and, and maybe he's fine. 15 to 11. Moving into the 27th round. Complexity need four in a row. We know they can get that. Oh, that's actually dangerous from Turtle, but he's... Oh, never mind. Take it back. You can tell how comfortable MIBR are in the default. He just shoots through the smoke right then and just tacks cold down to 30 seconds. That's <laughs> yeah. excellent work. Not bad. Exit. Very forward position that he maybe could have got caught in. But now that he's back around the corner, just jiggle peeking it to, to try and spot anyone out. Should be doable. Oh, but they're very close. He's going to drop the Molotov. And that actually works. I would say that's a high-risk play. <laughs> he could have got run down. 
But that's the second time he's gone for that. Man, that was really close. And Complexity have to fall off because of it. The smoke was there at their feet. Couldn't press on forward. Oh, he shoots a pixel too high. Doesn't take down Blame. And Blame, he, he had some space towards middle, but little does he know, there's no one in that top mid house. He, he can't just press on forward, given that he's been spotted. They would have expected him. And when he watches this one back, that's going to be a moment where he thinks, oh, I could have found some space there. Actually a good call right now for Complexity, it looks like, to go for this B-bomb site. VR is here, he's gonna be getting the one kill blamer for the trade, that's good enough. Good enough, Turtle on his own right now. Again, but they're looking for four in a row right now, but they're gonna run into Turtle. What a double kill. As the sole defender of the B-bomb side, he's able to pick that up. Bolt's coming in with the one, and now JKS even getting slightly randomly wall-banged through the wall, and he's gonna be 